Hi, uh, I'd like to put your intention on a generator that I built. Before I explain everything about it, just want to show you something, a phenomenon, a strange phenomenon that with the charge battery of the generator, you know. I will explain to you that later on. You see, very funny. Look, 220 volts on the opposite way. We, I, I will explain this phenomenon in the end of the video, okay, with the permission. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Now let's, <laughs> let's do the generator. Uh, this generator I built uh, just last week and uh, I improved it. And the thing is that I was, my intention was to, 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 to light with this generator Maybe small bulbs, you know, like those ones, you see? Look. Those bulbs of 3 volts, you see? And to charge a small battery. This was the intention of this generator. And uh, anyway, when I try to put it in, you know, to, to work with it, to put it in charge, and then I saw, I got an electric shock, you know? Electric shock that really was very strong from the generator and all the coil that I'm using I have AC co coil and I have DC coil this is a big filler uh, coils you know and uh, the shock was very strong so I was thinking maybe to <coughs> to put a bulb of uh, 220 volts you see to see what's happened you know <coughs> and then once I put a bulb I was spinning a generator and the bulb was lighting. <clears throat> so I said, why not to try maybe to put a second bulb, you know? So I put a second bulb and it was lighting as well. <laughs> and then I put the third and the fifth and six bulbs of them was light. So something was very, very weird, you know? So anyway, I want just to tell you that all the generator is working with one P, uh, one. Uh, battery of 3.7 volt or 9 volt small battery of 300 milliampere okay so you can use this battery here or you can use the 9 volt battery now please try to understand that the lighting from the, from the generator is not coming from the battery it's coming from the coils and the magnets okay I will spin it by hand for a second so you can see that there's no battery on the generator and just you can see how it's generating. Look. You see? I do it another time. Look. So the lighting is coming from really from pure generating from the coil and the magnet. You see? There is nothing that you can see the generator after. There is nothing to hide here, you know, it's very simple. And my attention is that you understand how it works and to share with you and not to hiding anything, okay? So, uh, here we have a charge battery that we are going to put here. The same one like this one here too, okay? But, I want to show you something before that. Look, I installed all the coils in the low part on the down part of the generator we have magnet downstairs and we have magnet upstairs. So for now, I'm using only the half of the potential of the generator because I put coil only downstairs. Then I will put coil from upstairs, glue it here from up to down, you understand? So I can fill all the upstairs part with coil and to get the double of uh, efficiency from the generator. So now we have only half of the efficiency of the generator because I put for now only downstairs uh, all the coils. Well, I put two above. You can see one how it will look in the future. I put here one above here, you see, okay? So we can put around 20 coil above as well to get more light and more charge. Why I tell you that? Because I want to put here two, three more housing to charge back more battery 
from one battery okay so for now I'm charging one battery I will show you uh, let me just show you as well uh, the charging of the generator so you see the charge is here look here Oop, you saw it's a very strong charging that are in the capacitor so now we are going to charge it from the beginning let me put the the charge battery okay and we are going to measure how much we have now we can put it here let me see the generator can work for hours because the consumption of the generator is 300 milliampere. I will show it to you. And uh, you can see it's 300 milliampere, not more. So it's working for, uh, you can put it for three, four hours and still it will work enough time to charge back the charge battery. And you can use the charge battery in back to the input battery to put the input battery in the charge battery instead but anyway i will put two or three of them so it's 300 percent of efficiency in the generator 3.6 this this coming from the capacitor look because look how strong it comes from the capacitor still half full you understand unbelievable you see now we are going to charge the battery and we are going to put the battery like look here when I put it here I run the okay that's all okay and now we are going to charge from the beginning This is the charge. Okay. Now, this is the charge that you can see and the battery is now charging. Look how many balls you have from 300 milliamps. You can take each ball with an extension and to put it to each room in your house. Those balls are 220 volts. Balls, 6 watts each. I have 5 volts, 6 watts. That I choose and they're all working with only a part of coil down there, not even upstairs. Okay, now now it's starting to charge better. So this is this can work for a very very long time. You can see and charge you in the future three four of them from 300 million pounds unbelievable okay now let me explain to you something else if I stop you see if I take the battery out okay okay this is the same battery Now, I put it once time again, just to show you that we are working 100% on the coils and the magnets. Okay. I don't understand how it's possible to, to, to run it on, on 300 milliampere, but still beautiful. Okay, now I will show you something else. You take the charge battery, for example. Okay, you can check the charge battery, you can take this battery, whatever. I will use them after. I just want to show you something. Once you charge the charge batteries, okay, you, you take you take you can take one of them, you know, and you put 
you put it here, okay? And then, and then this is not a battery charger. This is a, just a bulb that you take on the wall, okay? And once you put it on the wall, you have the light of 220 volts. Now listen what I'm doing. I will take the battery out, I will take one bulb, okay? And we go to the wall. And then I'll show you something. Look. We connect to the wall, okay? This is in the grid, okay? Now, why do I show you that? There is no battery here, you see? Now, this is not a battery charger, as I told you, because for the simple thing that if you have a, if you have a charging system here, it was a charger, you put it on the wall and you put the battery in, what happened? You are going to have a battery charger that will give you some light, or you can charge your phone or, or just to light a small bomb, you understand? This makes the opposite way. Try to think opposite way. When you put the battery, you are not charging the battery from the wall. No, the opposite way, you are making back the electricity to your home. It means that when you have a power cut, you know, if you have a power cut and you're living somewhere and you don't want to stay without power, let me show what you do. So, you put the battery here, okay, and let me, oop, let me push, and you have the, your, your 220 volt light back, you understand? So this is not a battery charger, it's the opposite way, it gives you the power back in your home, and you don't stay without electricity, you understand, anymore, okay? Now, as well, you can charge your phone with this. I will put you the charger. This can work after you charge the battery, because I don't want to make the video long. You can charge the battery with the machine, and then you can leave it like that, if you have a power cut, for 10 to 12 hours. It means you can put it in 8 in the evening, for example, until 8 in the morning. And then you can put it back to the machine, it will charge. You understand? Unbelievable. Now, as well, in case you have a power cut, you can as well use the phone. It will recognize the phone and it will charge your phone as well. You see? Okay. 12 hours of light for one hour in the generator. You understand? Now, uh, for the, <laughs> what I show you in the, in the first place, in the, in the, in the beginning of the video, if you take the bulb out and you, t and you put the bulb here, for example, look, and you put the switch, as I told you, you have 220 volt back here, you understand? Over here. You see? It's very interesting, this phenomenon, very interesting, because uh, from 3.7 volts battery, uh, you can make so many things, you understand? Charging and lighting your house for really for 12 hours after. So I hope you understand. If you have any question, we are looking for somebody maybe who like to uh, to invest in this project because I can improve it and I can have a double of the bulb and a double of the charging and from really a small tiny battery this one or this one that are 300 milliampere I, I try to put it as well on on the wall with the, with the transformer uh, and the transformer that I was using it was a transformer of 12 volt and 300 milliampere and just I don't want you to have doubt uh, about the 300 milliampere that the consumption look this is a, a old transformer of 300 milliampere 12 volt and it's very simple if I connect it to the generator as well look this is the wire here I will put just the connection here directly okay one and two, and then you will see, look. Okay, and this is, this is the grid. 
and this is 300 milliampere. Okay. So 300 milliampere for sure. And the battery 9 volt 300 milliampere. And from this battery I use 300 milliampere. So thank you very much and uh, look at the charge. And bye, thank you, bye.